an elevated calcium reading should be confirmed with an ionized calcium to rule out pseudohypercalcemia, which arises due to an increase in plasma proteins binding to calcium and leading to an erroneously high calcium. If the parathyroid hormone level is also elevated, the diagnosis is primary hyperparathyroidism, which is the most common cause of hypercalcemia in the outpatient setting. If the PTH level is normal, look at the urinary calcium level. Normal or high levels of calcium in the urine also correspond to primary hyperparathyroidism. A low urinary calcium means that the patient has familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, meaning a low amount of calcium in the urine and a high amount of calcium in the blood. If the PTH is low, the phosphorus level in the blood should be checked. A low or normal reading suggests malignancy-associated hypercalcemia, the most common cause of inpatient hypercalcemia. The two mechanisms of hypercalcemia in this setting are local osteolytic lesions, if lytic bone metastases are present, and less commonly, humoral hypercalcemia of malignancy, in which the tumor itself produces parathyroid-related protein. The PTHRP activates the parathyroid hormone receptor. Elevated phosphorus can be seen in multiple myeloma, the clue for boards is acute kidney injury and anemia, granulomatous disease such as sarcoidosis or tuberculosis, B-cell lymphoma, and milk alkali syndrome, the clue of which is acute kidney injury, elevated bicarbonate in an otherwise healthy person.